Jeju Island. Um, it's a little bit different from Seoul, but today I'm actually going to be taking you guys around Jeju. I'm staying here for one night and two days, so I'm just going to be kind of giving you guys a rundown of maybe a good course you guys can do while you guys are here. And yeah, the weather's a little bit gloomy today, but I do not think it's going to rain as much, so hopefully the sun will be on our sides. And yes, we just came to eat breakfast. So after breakfast, we are at our first destination at Seppyorodum and as you guys can see, I am surrounded by Okseppur. That's how you say it in Korean. Ooh. Wow. So we are at Yongmari and they say that for each person it's 2,000 Korean won so in order to go and look we're going to be doing that So cute! Uh, you always said you for a better thing Wanna replace me in a place that I've never been It's worse than lonely Cause someone tell me they say good in me There's good in me Cause I got doubts, I got doubts, I got doubts, yeah So the tides are actually getting stronger and they say that they're gonna close this place down within like two hours So you guys gotta come when the tide is low and fairly at a more earlier time So we were actually really lucky today because the tides were low and it didn't rain so we were actually admitted inside and it's only two dollars like I mentioned before but um, depending on the tide and how like the tide levels are you guys might not be able to enter so make sure you guys check that before you guys come here and definitely the most beautiful place that I've been to so far. I've been to Jeju-do quite often. I've been to Jeju-do around three times and I think that this is by far the best. Can't wait to look at the pictures and they're actually selling a bunch of food. So my mom wants to buy cure when we came here. He's letting us... 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 Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gear, gear, gear. <laughs> oh, yes, you look like a caterpillar. It's raining. Psh, come on, man. So now we are at Chungmun Depo and we're going to be going to a cliff nearby. It was actually raining, but it stopped. So hopefully, it doesn't rain while we're here. They say that you can't go down. Oh, I see it. Oh. So how these pillars are created or formed is when the Halasan erupted. It erupted into the sea and kind of created pillars like this. I wish we could go down and like show you guys, but we can't. They also say that seeing it through a boat might be a different experience as well. Okay. 
We are at Getgak Cholide and it was raining a lot but as soon as we came out it started to rain a lot less. Supposedly there's a cave here and my mom really wanted to go here, right? Yes. So we're gonna be going and my brother's already all the way up there. He's not, he's in his own world, so we're gonna be going. The thing I wanna say is that the rocks over there were pretty hard to walk on, so I came out on just rocks that are a little bit tinier and easier to walk on. Oh, oh my god, it's the goosebumps. You guys are wondering these are rocks not dirt and my brother was saying that if you had miniature versions of us you could imagine us walking on the real rocks like this I got a green tea. Oh really? Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the ice cream is insanely good. Yeah. Oh. After eating, we are at Cheongban Popo. It is a waterfall that falls right into the ocean. So I'm gonna be showing you guys. You guys can actually hear the waterfall right now. So I'm super excited because I feel like I haven't seen a waterfall in a really long time. I think it's been a minute, like ever since the states. So. I'm really excited. There it is. Gonna get a little closer. Wow. Now we are at the Ole traditional market and a couple of things to eat before we go into the hotel. I'm really excited because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more different than Seoul. So, yeah, maybe we should ask her which oranges is the best. Yeah. They have a lot of things from Jeju or stuff that's made here. Look at this cute hollowbone candle. Everything smells so good. So we just bought dried Jeju mandarins. So there's two types of juices. There's the Chan He Hyang and also the Halabong. We got one of each and it's super cute. They say that it's 100% the actual juice. So I'm really excited to try it out. Hey guys, so after the market, we are going to be going to the hotel. I'm going to be staying at the Jeju Shina World and I'm super excited to show you guys this hotel because it has a very special attraction inside the hotel and yeah we're almost here so keep watching we are here finally at the Jeju Shina World Shina Resort we're making our way inside
생수 나머지 네. 두 자리가 호스로 준비되어 있습니다. 여러분께서 네. 신화 로비에 지금 위치하고 계시고요. 객실은 뒤쪽에 보이신 통로 따라서 들어가 주신 다음에 오른쪽 보시면 엘리베이터 준비되어 있어요. 네. 엘리베이터 탑승하실 때 객실 대주셔야 이용 가능하시고요. 네. He also gave me a guide to this place and also a map that's right there. So we are finally here at the Jeju Shina World and there is actually five places that you guys could stay but we're going to be at the Shina Resort and we actually got a connecting room so I'm really excited to see that so let's go inside. Oh, so clean! It's only been around two years that the whole hotel has been built, especially the Shina World one. So as you guys can tell, this is a king bed from what I think it is. It's really big, oh my gosh. And then if you open it up, there's this little playground for your kids if you are coming here with kids. I feel like this room is going to be really good for family and um, you know we got K-pop over here. Watch Idol Insider. And then if you come here, this is the connecting room and there's actually going to be two beds so I feel like if you guys are here with your family, it's going to be perfect and also this is the view as well. And look, look what they did for me. Miss Park. Yeah, Miss Park. So, and then right here is going to be the restroom. I'm going to be doing like a separate solo shot of that but yeah, that was the room tour. So if you guys come in from the door, right on the right is going to be the restroom. It's the restroom and then also the shower. This restroom is so clean. Like you could tell that it's just a newly built hotel. And then this is going to be the toilet. And let's just go check out the other restroom. I think it's going to be fairly the same. Yeah, it's fairly the same. Ooh. I like this lighting here. I don't think the lighting was on the other one. And then the shower head. Also, this is how you open the connecting room. Go like this. This is the room. Hey guys, so I just came to the lobby and there's something that I found really interesting. If you guys don't know your way around the hotel, this is gonna be great. There's like this little information desk right here. There's English, Korean, and also Chinese. So I'm gonna go to English and the type of attractions they have. As you guys can see, all the attractions that they have at the hotel. There's theme parks, water parks, bowling alleys, which is great. And then if you guys go to the restaurants and bars, it also shows you the different restaurants and bars inside of the actual hotel. And also there's the different hotels here. So we're actually at the Shina, but there's all the other ones. And then if you guys want to shop, this is all the places you guys can shop. There's also a casino. And yeah, different events too that the Shina World might hold. So basically, I actually want to go to the PlayStation Store right now. So let's go find where that is. So we're currently right here, and we need to go here. So, yeah, which way is that? This way? Yeah, let's go this way. That was so convenient. So we finally found it. All my little friends are in there. They're waiting for me. They're all playing their games. But as you guys can see, we finally found it, and I feel like this is a really good place to bring your kids or maybe like a couple dates. So I'm here by myself, but it's okay because I have friends inside. So why don't we go? Check out the PlayStation. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what's the light? What's the light? 
How do you go? Why is it slow? Whoa, move! Move! What the heck? Whoa, it's so slow. Hey guys, I just washed up. It's mask Monday and it's a Monday today so I thought that I'll do a mask and you guys can choose. I think the good thing about it is that they're split into different categories and also they're all different masks so yeah, let's see which one to try out. Alright guys, good night from Cheju. I am going to be eating breakfast tomorrow at the hotel and then I'm going to be going for a swim because I haven't checked out the pool yet or gone inside the pool and yeah, that's it. So today's Day is over and I finished it off with Mask Monday. Good morning. So I slept so good yesterday because I was so tired. And right now it is 8 a.m. and I thought that I would go down and eat some breakfast. But before we do that, I actually was trying to decide which earrings to wear. And I thought that you guys can help me. Uh, this is from a Korean brand called Kiane. And okay, I'm just gonna show you one by one. This is earring number one. Let me take it out so you guys can see it and help me. You guys can help me. My mom's gonna help me. She's gonna help me decide. So, all right, guys. So this is Piane, and this is earring number one. Earring number two. Earring number three. I like earring number three too. It's kind of pretty. Earring number four. Earring number five. Earring number six. Come go. I am cold. You go? Yeah, okay, I'll do this one. Yeah. Earring number one it is. If you guys like these earrings, go check out Piane. They sent me the earrings to try on and yeah, I'm super excited to try it. So this is my plate. Ooh, I'm so excited. Plate number two. Clear. So I have a little bit of time and I'm gonna go to the swimming pool. The really good thing about this swimming pool is that it's actually warm during the 65 days a week, all four seasons. So I'm not talking like warm as in it's like really hot, but basically I don't need to worry about the water being too cold. And I think that's perfect for the winter time and also for me because I really don't like like super cold pools. So that should be good. 
So we are here at the sky pool and it oversees the whole water park here. I'm gonna be showing you guys. It's super crazy, super beautiful. Let's go. It's a little windy, but like I said, the pools are heated. I feel like even if you come in the winter, you guys can come inside the pool because the pool is so warm. Wow. Now we are at a different side of the hotel. This is another pool and we are at the Moshi Clubhouse. As you guys can see, this is a different view of the pool and a little bit more quiet and reserved. But anybody who's staying at the Xinhua Hotel or even the Marriott Hotel can use these facilities. There's going to be actually an indoor pool as well that I'm going to be showing you guys real soon. Once you guys go inside, it is actually going to be really warm because all the windows are going to be covered and the pool is going to be heated as well. So I definitely recommend going here during the winter time if you guys still want to go for a swim but it's way too cold to go outside to swim. This is going to be the perfect place. My camera actually died on me, so I'm gonna be filming with my phone. So I'm so sorry because the audio quality is gonna be a lot different than the one before, but I mean, I still gotta film. And I'm actually here at a waterfall, and I'm actually gonna be going across a bridge too. And my mom said that her and my dad, years ago, they crossed that bridge as well. So I'm super excited because I'm really excited to see another waterfall that's here. There's actually three waterfalls here. And we're actually going to the third one and we're gonna go look at the other two. I don't know if that if they're gonna be like fully flowing, but we'll see. Hi mom. Oh mom, what are you doing? Oh really? She stole my hat, but you look good. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the third waterfall, right? I feel like this is a little bit shorter but like stronger. Right? It's, it's pretty strong. Going down to the second waterfall. Getting a good hike today. Had to buy some water because I was really dehydrated. We saw waterfall number two and now we're going to Cheongjaeyeon. Cheongjaeyeon? Chan Jaeyeon. And we're both struggling. My brother's up in the corner, but we're both struggling. Chan Jaeyeon waterfall. Wow. We are at Sehsokak right now. And I'm gonna be showing you guys what we're gonna be doing right now. Man, I want a kayak. Change of plans. Actually, waiting for the kayak. It is an hour and a half, so I don't think we're gonna be doing the kayak. Mm, kind of sad we aren't, but for those guys who do come here to Sesokak, you guys can go kayaking and also there is going to be somebody who takes you on a boat like that too if you do not want to kayak. 
So a little side note, when I did I did on TV for a show called Tour vs Tour, I actually went to Sesokak. So if I can find footage of that, I will actually insert footage of me kayaking and yeah, hopefully I find it. This is actually really cool. I didn't know that. Um... That's romantic. I want to do that. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's actually crazy. Oh. And the water color here though is really The water is so dark better. Right? Uh, right now. That's a test. Yeah, that was Woo. a test. Right? I might just do it from right Yo ho, yo ho, pie inside for me. <laughs> So we have arrived at Songsang Il Chulbong and I decided to actually do a voiceover because while I was editing I got a lot of wind sound on the footage so this is what we're going to be doing so I hope you guys do understand but this is actually a dormant volcano and you can actually climb up all the way to the top it takes around 15 to 20 minutes and on the way up this is how the view is going to look like if you guys don't mind going for a 15 to 20 minute hike, this is one place that I definitely recommend when you guys are at Jeju because once you go to the top, you could see all of Jeju and I do think that it is the best way to see Jeju all in one eye. And the hike up was pretty easy. <laughs> Just kidding. I got pretty tired on the way up, but it was a pretty fast hike um, considering that it only really took around 20 minutes. So guys, you guys can do it. On my way up, I saw this rock and I thought that it looked like a girl with long hair and she had a crown, but my brother didn't think so. And I think at this point we were around halfway up, so you guys can definitely get a view of Cheju. On our way up, I don't know if you guys can see, we actually spotted henyeos. And for those of you guys who do not know what henyeos are, henyeos are women who actually swim in the sea to find seafood. And they are seriously such fierce women. It was so crazy that I got to spot them from up there. It was quite a sight. So we finally made it to the top of Songsang Il Chulbong. And this is how the view is going to look like. It was really beautiful. I wasn't expecting much, but you could see that this is a dormant volcano and there's actually a dent and there's just grass growing all over it. And I really didn't think that it was a dormant volcano when I first saw it. And I also did a time lapse of the clouds passing by so you guys can enjoy that as well. On the way down from the hike, this is the view that you guys are going to see. It was so beautiful. I actually wanted to go down and you guys can go down and there's actually a seafood restaurant right next to the mountain there. It's a restaurant called Modajong, and this is going to be so good. Got the udo peanut traditional rice wine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so fresh that some of the ingredients are still alive. You guys can see it's kind of moving. Whoa! Look at the abalone. It's gonna be so fresh. We are now at the Manjangur and it's gonna be a cave. I honestly am so full. I'm really excited because I kind of want to walk and digest. So, wow. A little FYI before we go into the cave, it is actually 
four kilometers and it's actually one of the largest lava tubes in the world so I'm super excited for that and there's actually a lot of places that you can see and a lot of lava tubes are supposedly found here so super excited for that now we're going into the lava tube and I recommend coming here during summer because it's fairly cool not winter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah it's because it's a cave, huh? Yeah. Okay. Dude, do you know your pants are 3M? Yep. The thing that's so cool about this floor is that you could definitely see all of the lava, like how it was created, right? On the floor. It's, it's like all different. See all these little streaks going on it's actually how the lava flew inside the tube so flew? flowed that this turtle lava is the icon of this lava tube that we're in so it might be good to have a hat on because you're gonna get wet for sure Maybe the lava came here and then it came down and made a column, right? And then it created the toes. Yeah. Right? And this is the lava column. Dude. I kind of want to look up there. Get it to the end. The column. We are now at the Jeju Dongmun Market. And it's really close from the airport. So if you guys have downtime and you guys need to go, you know, kind of kill time, I feel like this is a really good place to come and spend your last time because that's what we're doing because our flight is around nine so we have like an hour to just look around the market and it's gonna be a little bit different than the market that you guys saw before like yesterday Jeju soju. Mm. Soju 좋아하는 사람들은 Jeju soju 이렇게 mm. 딱 귀엽다. Mm. 그렇지? Mm. And it has like a Jeju chan. Actually, should I not? Dude. Wow. Also sell panchan. 